Hello, I'm Mike from Music Radio Creative. In this video, speed controls are here in Adobe Premiere Rush. Let's get stuck in, create a new project. I couldn't wait to try this out. Uh, I've recorded some footage on my Sony Alpha A6300 camera, and I'm gonna drag it in. It's recorded at 120 frames per second, so I should be able to do some really cool stuff with speed on this short recorded video and really give the speed controls in Adobe Premiere Rush a test. So here we go. Uh, let's scroll through to a bit of the video where this, oh, it starts spinning around, perfect. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to ideally, let's play it back and have a watch. That's spinning around madly. I want to ideally slow that footage down so we can watch it back in slow motion. Really easy to do now, over here in the right hand menu on the desktop version, speed controls are here. Click and they'll open up and then it's really easy to select a range of your clip. You can either do it using these controls. I find it easier actually to zoom out on the timeline here and just drag these blue ends in. So one end in over here like that, one end in over here like that. Let's make it just a short bit for the moment. And at the moment it's gonna have no effect because the range speed is 100%. So I'm gonna pull this all the way down to around, let's try 20% to start with, and go back and have a look. Oh wow, and we get that that funky audio as well, that time-stretched audio uh, with maintain audio pitch ticked. If I switch it off, uh, it will kind of go Now you can hear the slow motion audio as well. So that's 20%, this is 47%, let's watch that. So just less, so I think 20% looks a bit better. Uh, but it's a bit of a jump, isn't it, going from full speed to slow motion suddenly. Uh, well, there's a really cool extra tool in Adobe Premiere Rush now uh, that complements the speed controls perfectly, and that is ticking this ramp, and what that will do, you can see it adds a little curve in and a curve out, that will add a ramp to your speed control, so going down from 100% to 20% speed in a nice smooth fashion. Let's watch it. Wow, and I, I heard the audio go like that, which is really, really cool. And of course, if that was too fast, at the moment the ramp amount is half a second, you can push it up as far as three seconds and get a real smooth ramp on this speed delay. And maybe I'll just move this along a little bit further. Look at that, and then ramping back in to full speed again. Really nice. Again, playback from the start. Here we go. Let's watch this. So, starts to spin around, starts to slow down, slow motion, speeds back up. Really, really cool stuff. Uh, so, essentially, speed controls over here, this icon, select the range, either do it here with these blue markers, or you can do it over here, it affects the timeline just like that. Select your speed, so 20% will be 20% speed. You can also speed up to be really, really fast, comically fast, crazy comically fast. <laughs> Way too fast, even for my CPU to keep up with that at the moment. Uh, you can ramp it in and out, which I highly advise because it gets, does a smooth uh, speed up or slow down. You can choose the amount of ramp you want. If you click maintain audio pitch, you're going to get the same pitch of audio. Instead of a kind of or you're going to get a similar audio pitch uh, to the one that you started before you were doing the speed reduction. And it's just really, really cool. So Adobe Premiere Rush, speed controls now included. Let me know how you're going to be using these in the comments down below.